So I'm making this tutorial because I cannot find any tutorials on how to take a scene from Houdini into Blender with any kind of simulations. And I'm following a tutorial here. Houdini is a scary basics. It's a great tutorial series if you try to learn Houdini. Uh, but for bringing other scenes into Blender, there isn't really a way to do it in the apprentice version of Houdini as far as anything I can find online tells. Uh, but kind of the only way I've figured out is to use OBJ sequences, which have a lot of limitations, but it does technically work. So what you can do is you're going to take a raw geometry, uh, save it out uh, uh, of Houdini, save to disk, do all that. And then in Blender, you'll need an add-on to import an OBJ sequence. There's a uh, free add-on here. You can download it right here. Uh, and it has you know, a quick start tutorial about how to install it and use it. Uh, uh, it's pretty simple to use. All you have to do is do file, import, mesh sequence, and you have to put in the exact name. So here it's .rop geometry one Let's type that in here. I don't recommend doing a uh, material per frame because that creates a new material uh, on each frame, uh, which gets a little bit complicated to work with. So uh, I keep that off unless you want to have a different material on each frame. And then there's a few other you know, PLI and STL files and all that. And then you just do select folder. You don't have to select anything. It just brings right in. It'll take a few seconds to import, depending on how big the scene is. And then it'll go on responding for about 30 seconds, but it'll almost always pop right back out. And then uh, on the mesh itself, uh, you can go to mesh sequence here, uh, if you have the add-on. And then you can have it extend, repeat, whatever. Uh, and that's it. Uh, this is best for probably and putting you know meshes like this, like rigid body simulations, but for uh, fire and stuff, you can use OpenVDB for explosions. Uh, I'll leave a good tutorial for that in the description. Uh, this might work for exporting liquid simulations. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that, but that'd be some huge files if you were to try to do that. So, anyways, if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, I kind of just figured this out. It's uh, the only way to do it in Apprentice as far as I know. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.